Hello friends, how are you doing? In the video of today, we will learn together how to apply for visa for Brazil step by step. So what are the main things that you will learn after watching this video? After watching this video, you will learn how to find and fill the application form completely by yourself, how and where to submit your application form, and in the end, we'll tell you everything about the required documents that you will need while applying for the visa. But before we start, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and make sure you watch this video till the end. Before we go through the visa application, let's check together the visa policy of uh, Brazil. If, we, if you click over this link, this page will appear in front of you and will show you this map. As you can see over here, almost all the countries of South America can enter to Brazil, to Brazil either by the ID card or with uh, the passport without any visa. All the countries of North America, all European countries, uh, Russia, Turkey, Morocco, South Africa, uh, Malaysia, Indonesia, Thailand, Japan, Korea, Australia, New Zealand, all these countries can enter Brazil without any visa. For the rest of the world, speaking about India, Pakistan, uh, Egypt, China, all these countries, all this gray area, uh, you need to apply for visa before traveling to Brazil. So the first and the most important part during applying for any visa is filling the application form. In this section, we will learn together how to find the application form and how to fill the application form step by step. To fill the visa application form for Brazil, you can fill it here from this website. Just click over this link and this page will appear in front uh, of you still loading and you choose here the language to be English of course and here you click after that over the visa section okay you read the regulations here and here you need to write this uh, kibacha in o one r and click start new application okay start new application okay and here you start filling all these sections first the general data the visa data and the documents as uh, a professional data and the contacts and in the end biometrics data and scanned documents so you can just let's start filling it together the given name the family name okay if the family name is unknown just click the family name is unknown and the uh, birth date of yours okay let's say which date let's choose another, a random one let's for example this one for example okay marital status okay um whatever it is male have uh, do you have former uh, names surname at birth okay no place of birth okay let's assume i'm applying from india so let's keep it india but of course you can find all the other countries like you can find egypt you can find uh pakistan if you want pakistan yes you can find bangladesh you can find all the countries but let's stick with india province state let's say delhi city delhi uh, do you have brazilian nationality no um okay authorized uh okay my passport is from india of course and do you have uh other nationality i will say no parents okay uh, you can just fill you need to fill all the information in fact but i will just click not informed but here you can find that you ha can give the given name of your uh, mother the family name the date of uh, the place of birth the date of birth but mostly they need the names the father name okay let's just click not informed and date uh, data of legal representative because you're an adult so you don't need a legal representative and after that click next uh purpose of the trip main purpose of your trip let's say okay tourism additional objectives there is no additional uh objectives uh, estimated date of arrival you just give an estimation like let's say i'm i'm going okay this year july for example 
this date okay bland stay type of period uh, for one month okay for one month have you ever been to Brazil I will say no it's my first uh, travel trip uh, how the uh, exhibition of this document will be made I will be I will say okay in person I will go to the embassy in person then click next okay travel documents okay uh, type of your travel document okay it's uh, just a passport ordinary passport give the number of your passport uh, by which place uh, in uh, let's say in Delhi date of issue okay um, okay in the beginning of this month date of expiry expiry date which year will be that year for example July that date okay and uh, other documents unknown there is no other documents and then click next okay occupation what is your uh, professional details let's say i am an engineer for example an employee name of employer give the name the local india state city address zip code email you can give the email as a telephone also but it's not really mandatory but it's good to fill all the details click next a uh, type of means of contact okay by the cell phone and give the cell phone of yours this is my as a phone number permanent address okay i'm staying in india delhi city address zip code for example and other addresses include another address if you have another address and contact in brazil you can add here the con uh, the contact of your hotel we are going to stay in a hotel you can just give the name of the hotel here and i'm telling you it is really important to fill all the sections here but if you don't have you can just click here not informed then click next oh is this address for correspondence yeah okay yes then click next okay biometrics and scanned uh, documents here's a photograph you need to add a photograph you can choose a photograph from here okay should have at least okay let's say this picture okay signature choose an online signature of yours let's say it is this one for example and here upload also your documents for example if you have an air ticket then choose file you choose the air ticket and upload it if you have for example a birth certificate a passport copy choose file and upload it it is really important to upload whatever documents you have and i hereby declare that the information included here is true then click complete application and here code for recovery of the application this is a code for uh, the recovery of your application just copy it control c and then print uh, delivery receipt over here this is your delivery receipt this is the receipt that you will be printing and you will be taking with you while going to the uh, embassy for applying for the visa so don't forget to print this page you can find all the details like uh, the code of the application the number of the application and this barcode 
and uh, they will recognize it in the embassy or in the visa application center uh, through this unique number the next step after that is to submit your visa application uh, form of course after you will have to take the visa the visa form uh, or the visa receipt that you have generated along with all the required documents that we will be speaking about in the end of this video and go to the visa application center you can just google the visa uh, embassy location in your country but i'm giving you here uh, three websites of three different embassies of brazil in, in three different countries here in egypt in pakistan and in new delhi let's start with new delhi over here and you can check here uh, the visa here you can find all the informations that you need uh, to know about uh, the visa like for example the visa fees if you want to uh, know about the visa fees you can find the regular fee over here okay and also uh, if you would like to know how to uh, submit this uh, visa this is a visitor visa everything you need to know about the visitor a visa which is for the purpose of tours and they will tell you all the procedure like required first you need to fill the online application form along with all the required uh, documents of course and uh, how to uh, how to submit it you need to contact them of course here let's go back to whom and in whom you can find here the phone number okay stand by portuguese and uh, of course they are providing you here with an email but you can also find um, the contact of the embassy itself so to find the contact of the embassy just click about the embassy over here and address and office hours and then okay the exact location of the embassy and also the phone numbers of the embassy and the official hours will appear in front of you if you are applying uh, for example from uh, pakistan it is also the same thing just let's change the language make it in english this is the website of the embassy of brazil in islamabad in pakistan still loading all right this is the consular and visa section over here and here they will tell you how to apply for the visa they will give you all the information like first you need to uh, fill this visa application uh, this visa application form and this is the visa receipt that was uh, generated and as i'm telling you there is a section over here for the picture another section for the signature and here to write your uh, contact a number and of course if you need to contact the embassy click contact us and here this is the address of the embassy of brazil in uh, islamabad in pakistan and this is the phone uh, number and those are the hours of the uh, embassy in case you're applying from egypt for example you can find also all uh, the details here like click the embassy here okay they are giving you here also uh, this is the address of the embassy in cairo this is the contact number those are uh, the emails of the embassy of brazil in egypt so after uh, preparing all your documents you just need to contact the embassy either uh, by phone or to send them an email to book an appointment and to go there to submit all your documents so what are the required documents that you will need while applying for any visa speaking about your passport your passport must be original and it must not be older than 10 years with at least six months of remaining validity and with at least two blank visa pages for the stamps in many cases you will need also a passport photocopy it might be one copy or more than one and it's preferred to be colored and both data page and photo page must be shown if separated in some cases you might be required to photocopy everything 
single page of your passport but in general only the data page and the photo page are the needed ones speaking about the personal pictures you will need at least two personal pictures sometimes only one is needed other times three pictures are needed but in general they are only two they must be new not older than six months it should be clear and show your full face and it is preferred to be with white background and you should give normal and neutral expressions no head or face covering is acceptable except for religious reasons speaking about the visa application form in general cases you need only one copy of the visa application form but sometimes you might be required to submit two copies or even three visa forms are different from a country to another in general cases you should print it and fill it manually but many countries now are providing their application form in an online platform so you can fill the application form online and after that you can print it and sign it anyway for the application form you just fill it as we do in the video in most of the visa application processes you will be required to provide a proof of status for example if you are an employee you will have to provide a letter from your employer or from your HR department mentioning your name your work detail and your salary and both address and contact numbers should be mentioned also in that letter and all letters must have an original signature and a stamp but in case you are the owner of the company or you run your own business then your commercial registry and your tax card must be presented but if you are a student in a school or a college an enrollment letter should be provided from your university or your school in some certain cases you might be applying from a country different than your own country at that moment you will need to provide a proof of a legal status which is a certificate of legal residence in this country and in some cases a valid residence visa for this country can be also accepted you will also need to provide a proof of sufficient funds which is a bank statement stating your balance for at least six months the original bank statement must show your name and should be signed and stamped by the bank representatives and remember that cash will not be accepted as a proof of fund you should also provide a flight reservation it could be an initial booking but in some minor cases you will need to provide a confirmed booking and remember that this flight reservation must include a return ticket you will also need to provide a proof of accommodation it could be a confirmed hotel reservation or an invitation from a host in this country or an invitation from an organization you are visiting in this country for a hotel or hostel an initial booking is acceptable but in some minor cases you might need to provide a confirmed booking and anyway the name of your hotel must be mentioned and the address and the contact number but in case you are invited by a person either the letter of invitation should be mailed directly to the embassy or to be submitted by you accompanied by a copy of the passport of that inviting person many countries also especially the schengen area countries require you to provide a traveling insurance and you have to be careful and to apply through the companies that are accepted officially in these countries for example in case for schengen area countries there are some certain specifications for this travel insurance like the insurance coverage must be at least 30,000 euros and in general cases you can apply for this insurance online so i know that some of you are not familiar with how to make a a flight booking or how to make a hotel booking or even how to make a travel health insurance so in this section i will be teaching you how to make all the things step by step there are many sites you can use for booking your hotel like booking.com hotels uh, expedia orbits priceline hotwire kayak agoda all these sites but in this video i will be teaching you how to make your booking from booking.com so this is booking.com website lists let's check this uh, website together here you need to write your destination where are you traveling let's for example say uh, i'm traveling to athens greece for example and my check-in date will be um 23rd of may and my checkout date for example will be okay the third of june and how many people i will say only one adult and click search all right then okay here i am having all the offers here um the price here um the currency is in egyptian bound i would like to show it in us dollars so i will choose us dollars over here okay and that is uh the price for essence 130 this hotel um okay and that's for 11 nights for one adult 
Um, you can also make some filters, for example, like you want to, uh, okay, top back of your, uh, backs of your search, you want to arrange it depending on the distance, the cheapest, uh, the price is the cheapest first or the lowest first, okay. Let's see if we can get much better offer. Okay, there is also some other cheaper offers. Uh, 107 for 11 nights. This one, this one, this one, uh, Zorba's hostel. There are many offers. So, and also you can see the score of each hostel as um, the experience people are giving reviews also. So let's check something which is okay. This one is with good review. Uh, so let's check it for example. Once you open the hostel page like that, you will see all the pictures inside the hostel and your details. And you can also get some information about the facilities, the house rules, uh, the guest reviews. Also, you can read the guest reviews here uh, to know about uh, the experience they had there. So there is a single bed in a male uh, dormitory room. All right. So and this is the price. Uh, okay, price for eleven nights. Okay, there are two different prices here, but this one is with uh, breakfast. Breakfast is included. So let's say that I don't want a breakfast. I will take my breakfast outside. So I will choose one. And um, here they are telling you what are the extra things that you'll find. It's one bunk bed, there is balcony, city view, air conditioning, uh, soundproof, terrace, and a free Wi-Fi. You can even see more here. So let's say I'm okay with this choice. I will click I will reserve. And once you click I will reserve, okay, there is free cancellation until that 21st of May, so there's free can cancellation also. No payment needed today, you will pay when you stay, so you can pay in uh, the host itself. You are booking the last available single bed in male dormitory room we have in Athens uh, place, okay. Uh, are you traveling for work? Yes or no, I will say no. And here you give your details, first name, last name, email address, it's very important confirm email address and I'm telling you it is much better to register because once you register you already uh, give all your details and you don't have to fill your details over and over after filling all these sections add to your stay do you I'm interested in uh, requesting an airport shuttle if you want uh, a car to take you from the airport or something or do you have any uh, special request and once you just fill all these sections over here you just you just click on uh, final details okay once you click on final details uh, then you will review your booking and you will click confirmation and then they will send you an information an uh, email with the confirmation to your email you will have to print this uh, email and this will be as a hotel booking or the hostel booking that you will need to submit along with the visa application papers. There are many sites for making an online flight booking like uh, Momondo, Kayak, Expedia, Orbit, Skyscanner and uh, Priceline. But in this video, I will show you how to make your flight booking using Priceline.com. So this is Priceline. Uh, com and here we are booking our flight and I want to show you why I like this site it is departing from let's say for example I am going from India from Delhi Delhi Indira Gandhi and I'm going for example to okay Sri Lanka for example Colombo Sri Lanka and I am only one adult uh, what I like here is they are showing the prices the cheapest like depending on the day you can choose the cheapest price depending on the day so you have more flexibility so let's okay I will travel as a 24th for example and after that the second date oh no I wanted to check wait 
I want to check both prices okay this price over here and this okay this one is also cheap so no again this one tell this one let's check it again okay done and once you click done this page will open in front of you and they will show me all the deals and all the prices all right so this is the price for a round trip uh for from uh colombo from delhi to colombo and they are even giving me the name of uh of the airline it is vistara and there is also some other prices here like air india okay so let's just click on this one okay so now i need to choose my return flight also i will choose this one as my return flight or you can choose another flight here uh, as a return flight they are flexible but i will choose this one as my return flight and here i have my departure flight and i have also my return uh, flight from new delhi to colombo at the day and from colombo to new delhi at the day and now i need to make a check out so i will click here continue to check out okay if you would like to add any other things like a car shuttle to take you from uh, the airport to your hotel or your hostel then you can just add it or you can also add a hotel here from price price line but i will say no i just would need to continue to the checkout i'm not adding any of this uh, of these things all right okay so here you give your first name your last name your date of birth and your and this middle name is optional so just let's give some informations here date of birth also okay okay just one second for example and then click continue mail continue and and here to secure billing here you need to fill the details of your credit card over here and your billing address over here and once you click continue after that this section will appear in front of you to review your uh, booking and to confirm your booking and this way you can make your flight booking by yourself you don't have to use this website you can use any other website but i just wanted to show you how you can do it by yourself for applying for travel health insurance online for schengen area those are some uh, sites like uh, mondial card axa schengen schengen europe assistance and uh, ins buy but in this video i will show you how to make your uh, travel insurance using axa schengen all right so this is axa schengen.com from where you can get a uh, schengen travel insurance for europe here you have different types like low cost europe travel or uh, multi-trip so what is the difference between all these things for low cost it is up to 30 thousand euros and this is the required rate for europe so you can apply for it there's also another one for much more for 100 thousand euros and there is another one for 100 thousand euros and but this one bear a year so let's just go for the low cost for the 30 thousand the one that we need and the number of people this is the number of people and um i'm traveling let's say at the first of may and here is the end of may and get a quota so this is the price that i got um this travel insurance uh, for 30 thousand euros will cost me uh to completely totally 56 euros so you can just 
uh, you if you want to get this also by email you can just write your email here and then um okay i need uh, i have read and received the price procedures and all these things i agree uh, to enter uh partner okay and then click continue and here you get this is a part for the subscription here you fill all your details uh your name and the name the details of the beneficiary which is you also uh who is paying if you're the same person then you just write uh, uh like your name up here and down here and after that click confirm once you click confirm you move to the payment section where you make your payment and after making your payment you get to the confirmation where you receive a pdf copy of your travel insurance thank you so much for watching this video please don't forget to like this video subscribe to my channel and write your comment or questions down there in the comment section and see you in the next video